Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly and let's take a look at the HLOOKUP function in Excel. Uh, the HLOOKUP stands for horizontal lookup, works just like the VLOOKUP function but searches for the values horizontally. Let's take a look. So the HLOOKUP function has got four parts. The first part is lookup value. In simple terms, this means what are you trying to find? So here I have data where uh, I have the year uh, in the seventh row and the years are right here from 2010 till 2015 and against every year I have an interest rate that was offered by different banks so bank B was offering this much interest rate uh, in the year 2010 bank A was offering this much interest rate in 2011 so on and so forth so let's say for example I want to find I have been given the year here and depending upon the year I want to find the interest rate and the bank it's not the rating but actually the bank Okay, so let's say I want to find the interest rate and who was offering that interest rate. What's the name of the bank? So I'm going to write equals to HLOOKUP. Why am I using the HLOOKUP formula? Because my data is placed horizontally. And the first thing that HLOOKUP is asking me is for the lookup value. Lookup value in simple terms means what are you trying to find? So I am trying to find 2014 in this data range. So the second thing that the VLOOKUP is asking me is table array. In simple terms, this means that where are you trying to find? So I'm trying to find it in this range. This is this becomes my range. And for this range not to move, I'm just going to freeze that range by pressing F4. The first part and the second part both frozen by pressing the F4 key. Moving on. The third thing that it's asking me is the row index number. That means that if I find 2014 in this range, which row number do you want so let's say 2014 it's it starts to look from here and then eventually finds here then against this 2014 do you want the first row value the second row value or if you have any of the fourth row value or the fifth row value or the sixth row value which row value do you want so as of now what i am wanting to find is the interest rate and please note that the interest rate here is kept in the second row this is the first row which contains the year. This is the second row which contains the interest rate. So I'm going to write row index number is going to be two. That if you find 2014 in this data set, please give me the second row which is kept against 2014. Moving on. The last part of um, edge lookup is uh, your range lookup should, should be approximate or should be an exact match. So I'm just going to pick up that I want an exact match here. All right, so close the bracket and uh, press enter that this is going to give me 9.49, which is exactly right up here. Now, I now want to find the bank, right? So I'm going to write equals to HLOOKUP once again, although I can copy the formula from here, but I'm just going to write it for more practice. So HLOOKUP, I am trying to look up again for the year and looking up in this range, going to lock the range. And this time, my row index number is not going to be 2, but 3. Why? Because bank is kept in the first row, second row, and the third row. So I'm going to pick up number 3. And my range lookup, which is, are you trying to have uh, an approximate match or an exact match? Yes, I would want to have an exact match. Close the bracket, press enter, and you get bank B. Now let's say if I change the year here, let's say I make it 2011. This is going to give me 9.13 as an interest rate and the bank will automatically change to A. You can see that. Now, a couple of things that you'll have to keep in mind. The first thing is that uh, whenever you're trying to do an H lookup, uh, the first row has to be the value that you're trying to find. So years was something that I was trying to find. The years has to be in the first row of the data set that you select. Right. This is one thing that you'll have to keep in mind when you apply an HLOOKUP formula. All right, that was the HLOOKUP formula. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you liked it. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or on YouTube, and you can follow us on the blogs at kurli.co.in. Thank you so much and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.